Welcome to Bed Crime Stories Podcast. I'm your host, T. And if true crime is your jam, and like me, you enjoy delving into unsolved cases, trying to figure out who done it, please consider subscribing. Also, if you find value in my content, please hit that like button. Is anyone else experiencing a certain fatigue around the Summer Wells case? Not fatigue in terms of the desire to keep searching for answers and for Summer, but rather a fatigue related to the seriously dysfunctional behavior of people connected to the case, namely Summer's mother, Candace Bly, and H's parents, Allie Harris and Andrew Hiltz. The latter has his own YouTube channel, which is clearly aimed at profiting off his son's unfortunate relationship with Candace and his ties to June 15th of 2021. Yesterday, Emma of Crime Stories Obsessed shared the news of young H's return home. Little birds in the way of Allie's next-door neighbors apparently reported to her that they'd seen H back at his house and had even spoken to him. Per Emma, these neighbors said that H mentioned five fights he was in during his time away. H also allegedly told the neighbors that that's not the life he wants to live. And I hope that that last bit is true. I have to say that it's disconcerting to me to hear that H is back in Allie's and Andrew's fold. I made the mistake of listening in on Hilt's YouTube channel. There I stumbled in on an F-bomb laden discussion between H's parents who were none too happy that Allie's neighbors had spilled the beans to Emma, who in turn spilled the beans to everyone else. Allie and Andrew were furious that their son's location was disclosed to the public. Take a listen. I am pissed to the fucking max this morning. Did you see what I woke up to? They fucking blasted out where my son is right now. So it's all across fucking YouTube where he is. So now I have to sit here and worry about that all fucking day, all night and day now. Even though I know for a fact, but listen, even though I know for a fact Allison got it covered, I st- it's still my boy if something works. Everybody fucking knows. Allison, would you like to say something on that? <laughs> all right. Hang on, guys. You guys, we're all in a call, but we're all also on live right now. So, Allison, would you like to say something on that? Yeah, no, he went to me. He got fucking two seconds fuck last night. Now, this is probably the only thing that I will ever agree on with these two numbskulls. I, too, think it may have been better to leave H's GPS points on the down low. This miner needs to be shielded from anyone on Team Wells slash Bly who might want to disregard law enforcement's admonitions to stay away and who might go over to Allie's house now to further feel up H. Not for that, but for information about what he said to the police. Because of the way Allie and Andrew speak to one another and the meaningless dribble they spew on this channel, I believe H would be better off with another set of mentors. Maybe actual grown-ups who would ensure that the teen receives therapy for whatever made him rock against the wall on the evening of June 15th, 2021. People who would steer him toward an education and away from the Candace Blys of the world and the behaviors that type are drawn to. H's life doesn't have to be permanently marred or further eroded from whatever happened with summer on that June day. Until the next time on Bed Crime Stories.